You knew you were under investigation. You were trying to hold whatever you could over anybody's head. If you didn't know you were under investigation, why would you bring a lawyer to the meeting? In the North Valley, the Madera County Board of Supervisors voted unanimously to censure District Attorney David Lynn amid abusive conduct allegations. Board members voted for the censure during their special meeting this morning after the findings of an investigation into the matter were explained. However, the DA says none of those claims is true and this was all political revenge, while two of the supervisors themselves are being investigated. Action News North Valley reporter Natalie Granda joins us live with what this means for the District Attorney. Natalie. That's right, Margo and Jason. This is the copy that is now made public, and in it, it claims that the district attorney made several lewd and disturbing comments to his co-workers, but the district attorney says that it's all untrue, and this is just political retribution. And they were substantiated by more than one person, by multiple people. Based on several allegations accusing the Madera District Attorney of making sexual and offensive comments at co-workers, the County Board of Supervisors voted unanimously to censure David Lynn. The details of the investigation now public. It now puts, the, uh, puts it right in the, from me in the hands of the people. They can make the, uh, their determinations. They can draw their own conclusions. Some of the alleged accusations are disturbing. And in one case, suggesting that a female crime victim dressed more suggestively or provocatively. Before An investigator also claims Lynn added to the abuse by making racist remarks regarding African Americans, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But Lynn denies it all and says this isn't about the people, it's about revenge. We're here today because you gentlemen are afraid because you know what you have been doing and the way you have been running this county. The district attorney claims this is a political witch hunt and that his office is investigating super Supervisor David Rogers for the alleged violation of the Fair Political Practices Act. Meanwhile, he claims Supervisor Brett Frazier is being looked into for receiving funding from Fresno-based developers. I am going to spend the next year not only doing my uh, job, but also pursuing the allegations against the supervisors. Uh, the DA accuses us of lining our pockets with uh, developer money. I say prove it, Mr. DA. There's, there's no money coming into my pocket. Lynn handed out information regarding a complaint a previous disgruntled employee made against him. The document showing that the Equal Employee Opportunity Commission couldn't find evidence to substantiate the complaint. As far as stepping down, Lynn says it's not going to happen. Because I don't work for you. I work for the citizens of Madeira County. Now basically what a censure means is that, the, is that the board is letting everyone know what's happening and that they don't condone any of these actions and that includes making this investigation public. Coming up at 6 we'll have more on the investigation and how groups are pulling their support for the district attorney. But for now live in Madeira I'm Natalie Granda, ABC 30 Action News.